In this video, we're going to discuss the mechanism of probiotics. We're going to discuss how probiotic enhances the epithelial barrier, how probiotics protects us from the microbial infections, and how probiotics are able to boost up the immune system. In this video, we're going to discuss all these important details very thoroughly. So I hope that this video is going to help you to understand the probiotics better. Before we move on to the presentation or the lecture part, I have a quick request to make. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. Hi everyone, today we will discuss the functions of probiotics. We will discuss how probiotics are helpful in preventing infection, how probiotics are helpful in uh, boosting the immune system. So to start the lecture, I will first design the intestinal wall in the form of cellular structure. So right now what you are seeing are the cells of our intestine. I am just trying to represent the intestinal barrier. So let me write it down. This is the intestinal wall and uh, I'm also showing the nucleus so that they look more similar to the cellular structures. So now you have the intestine uh, wall design and in yellow color I'm highlighting the mucus. Mucus is important. Mucus uh, uh, holds the probiotic flora as you can see in the green color I'm I'm trying to design the probiotics and then we'll discuss the functions one by one so this is the probiotic which is also the beneficial microflora the first role of the probiotic is to produce mucins and defensins which enhance the epithelial barrier so that's the first function that you need to remember Second is the increase addition to the intestinal mucosa. So you have the mucus. Mucus helps the cells to attach firmly to the intestinal wall. And in red color here, I'm trying to show the pathogenic organism. And the third function is to produce antimicrobial compounds, especially against these pathogenic organisms. And the role is to inhibit the pathogen. So that's the third function. Now let's talk about the fourth function. Fourth is these probiotics, they try to exclude the pathogen. So it's also known as competitive exclusion. So they help in the competitive exclusion of the pathogenic organisms. So basically this is the fourth point and the fifth point, which is also very important related to the immune system. The probiotic organism, especially enhances the DC function. DC in this case is dendritic cell. These probiotics, they are known to stimulate DCs to produce IL-10, DGF-beta, also known to stimulate macrophages, other immune cells, and because of that, the intestinal immune system or mucosal immune system is activated. So this is the detailed mechanism of action of the probiotics. I hope now you have a clear idea of the functions of probiotics where we have discussed the production of mucins and defensins. We have also discussed the inhibition of pathogenic organisms as well as competitive exclusion and the increased addition of beneficial microorganisms to the intestinal mucosa. We have also discussed the role of immune cells, especially the dendritic cells, by the production of IL-10, TGF-beta, that can lead to the activation of the immune system. All right. I hope the video was helpful for you to understand the action of probiotics. We have discussed how probiotics are helpful in inhibiting the microbial infections or pathogenic bacterial growth. We have also discussed how probiotics are able to boost up the immune system. If you like the video, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support.